Good afternoon, everybody. It's Brett here doing our rough final video on the uh, Transmitter series and some of the features that Transmitter has. And I think this one will probably be a little bit shorter today because I wanted to just cover some of the balloon rain or uh, excuse me, raindrop charts that they have along with the patterns that are available as well that I like to use for some of the back trading. And so to start off, I wanted to just kind of go into some of these patterns. And so what the patterns are, are basically candlesticks. As we talked before, our very own Jerry Lee Newsom has his own candles here. And hopefully we'll be adding more down the line. I don't know, who knows, but you know, if I'm looking to back trade just simply hammers you know i can select they have two different versions of hammers and if you want to know the difference you can click on these docs tabs and they'll give you the definition uh, and i can apply that and it will pick up every hammer that the system recognizes as a hammer on the chart now do realize that um, there are some limitations for uh, what the system does consider a hammer versus what uh, you and i might consider a hammer but it's nice to have them highlight for you so if you wanted to go back however far and and back trade you know from um, hammer candles you can certainly do that and it'll highlight them really easy for you or maybe you're looking for morning star reversals right we can select that and it'll pull up all the morning stars that the chart likes to have right and so you can back trade how did the stock perform uh, once we had that morning star one of my preferable ways to do it is, you know, if I'm looking at a stock um, the day of, you know, and I'm seeing a, a pattern develop, I'll select that pattern in the patterns here and kind of just go back and see how that stock has performed in the past. Uh, so that's a really unique way to, to kind of do things. But really, I mean, any pattern that you're looking for, um, you can pretty much find here. Again, they have the strap, they have the pattern sites, etc. Pattern sites pretty much, you know, everything that you would think of, Marbozu, uh, Doji's, Dragonfly, Engulfing, etc, etc, all the way down. You know, plot them on the chart, you can use them in real time, or you can, again, back trade them. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to talk about was some of the raindrop candles that they have. How I like to use them, and I'm by no means an expert at using these raindrops, but essentially what the raindrops are is it's all based on volume. So I did pull up some of the white pages from Trendspider here. And so basically you decide on the, the chart that you're looking for, the time period. I like to use them on the daily, that's my preference. And basically what it does is it builds a volume profile from the candle low to the candle high and where the most of the volume in that candle took place. And then it based, it rotates that around to give you the raindrop for the left side and the right side. And so the left side of the raindrop is gonna be the first half of the period, whichever period you decide on. And the right side is gonna be uh, obviously the right side half. They join them together um, and then they add the dashes in here for wherever the VWAP was on each side. And if the left is higher than the right, it's gonna be red. If the right is higher than the left, it's going to be green. And so how I like to use that is really just for volume confirmation. And so there's a few of them that I really look for is what they call these blue dojis. And that's where the VWAPs for both the left and the right were the exact same. So if you really scroll in here, you can see that the VWAPs for these sides were the, uh, the exact same. And these are pretty good candles to find when you're at a support level. So for instance, on Fiverr, I have a monthly support plot here. I can see a lot of indecision between buyers and sellers here. And so if you look at just a regular candlestick chart, it certainly does show, of course, a little bit of indecision, but you can also see where the volume profile within that candle lies. And then the other one I wanted to go over is the balloon raindrop. And so I'm gonna pull up ATVI here, a uh, stock I know we're all familiar with. And so where I really wanted to kind of highlight things is, you know, we had a long kind of downtrend bull flag, if you will, all the way from, you know, August to, to recently in December. And if you look at this, you know, you've got what looks to be a strong breakout candle here. Uh, I don't use the blue line, my line's purple. This is the 100 simple moving average. You've got a strong candle right here that has closed above the 100 and has closed above this trend line. But if I wanted to know where volume was actually taking place within this, I can select the raindrop chart here. And as it pulls up, the majority of the volume in that candle was concentrated above this resistance trend line and above the 100 simple moving average. And the right side was even higher than the left side. So what that tells me is we have a lot of price acceptance above this level. And the last half of the day, uh, we had more volume than we did on the first half. And basically, as far as the candle body goes, uh, this portion of the candle body was somewhat negligible. So, and then of course you can see the next day that, uh, that we gapped up and then ran from there. And so I like to look at that, you know, when I'm looking for maybe like a breakout confirmation, you know, see where, where's uh, price acceptance. They call that the uh, balloon raindrop. That's one of my, uh, one of my favorites to use. I know we had one on shop here recently as well. So if you look at shop just from the traditional candlestick chart, again, we've got what looks like a nice shade bottom candle here. 
certainly did close above this resistance level. If we turn on the raindrop chart, we can see again for, for shop, we had some volume on the first half of the day down here, a lot of volume on the second half of the day, and then the majority of it overall concentrated above this resistance line. Well, then what happened? Of course, we gapped up and traded up. And it looks like we're coming back down to retest this line. So it's just a unique thing that uh, you will not find it anywhere outside of TrendSpider. They've got some good white pages on it, a lot of great information. And um, yeah, so overall, the patterns for back trading, the raindrop charts, I think are phenomenal. Uh, I did want to just touch on briefly these heat maps. So what this is, is the system in the collection of trend lines based on a very specific algorithm that, you know, if you're really technical, you can read up on. The heat maps really plot some good support resistance levels based on different trend lines. So wherever the darker red is, you can see uh, as, as far as I understand, more volume, more support. So um, if we go back to TBI, for example, actually that's a, a great point to bring up. I was looking at this before. In addition to the trend line and the 100 simple moving average, we have a very strong uh, resistance level based on this heat map here. And so you have three, three items of confluence, if you will, a trend line, 100 simple moving average, and a strong heat map resistance. We closed above that. Then again, if we look at the raindrop chart too, the volume closed above that as well. And so that would tell me that that would be a pretty strong break from all the three of those resistances. And of course, as we can see, it's done nothing but uh, uh, moon since that point. So uh, so that's all I really have for you guys today. Um, again, if you have any questions about TrendSpider overall, I'm a huge fan of them. You know, they've got some new features coming soon. I believe their CEO, Dan, announced that they do have a mobile version coming here. Uh, that they are getting developed starting next week. And I do believe they have some new data integration coming as well. That if I remember correctly, don't quote me on this, but I believe they are possibly getting data streams from different brokers. So if they integrate with um, Thinkorswim, you know, the data to TrendSpider would be coming directly from the, the Thinkorswim platform. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I believe that's what I heard in a recent interview. So overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I think TrendSpider is a great platform. I like it because it's got really clean charts, a lot of different functionality uh, that you can't find elsewhere, great scanning, everything like that. And I'm certain, like I said, certainly happy to answer any questions you guys have. Just shoot me a message in Slack. Appreciate you listening and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.